I always like to begin with where we finish the video so you know what to expect. So we do some patching in this video. We write tests for basically everything in the resource manager, getting each type of resource, songs, clips, instruments, and patterns. You know, we clean, clean up the example songs and we write the implementations for all these things. Now where it gets a little complicated is getting the Git based instruments, which is a little more complicated and testing that will be probably a lot more like writing an integration test because it's a lot of disparate steps that we need to mock out to test fully. So I'm going to save that for next video. In this one though, if you're not familiar with test-driven development or patching objects and things like that, mocking things in PyTest, you might get something out of it. So watch on. Thanks for uh, joining. Okay, quick update. LT Strange has provided a fix for number eight, which is this MP to MP3 issue that we saw, which is fantastic. And summary of the changes, uh, FFmpeg is installed and looks like a type hint fix, which is great too. And we use audio segment from PyDub to take care of the MP3 conversion. Thank you, LT Strange, for your work on this. And I tried it locally. Tests are passing locally. I just deleted this very specific test that might have been a mistake that I made when calculating by hand, so whatever. Rendering song 2 still works, so I'm happy. Thank you again, LT Strange. I'll approve, even though it's not necessary, and merge. Okay, so what's next? We have the clip getter working quite well. I think instead of nesting things like we did before, notes and clips and all that, Maybe everything should be separate, and it'll all just store references to each other. Hmm. Maybe we should bring it back to what's next to get it functional. Instead of calling song.fromdict, we should be calling the resource manager somehow. So let me think about that. All right, starting simple. Get song should at least set the sample rate in the BPM. So let's write that. Okay, that was pretty easy. It's almost time to cannibalize the song class again and mess it up completely. Now, this actually gives me confidence that we did the right thing with the resource manager. Here we have similar functionality getting grouped into one class. What is that similar functionality? I think we can add a self.check types and just pass a list such as like BPM sample rate and have it fail out the same way that it did up here. We can abstract that all into a single, maybe static method that's tested separately. And that functionality is all grouped into this class instead of being spread out amongst all the different data classes. So I'm happy with that. Okay, we have a test that we wrote. It went red. Now it's green. We checked the types. Now let's substitute that in right here. Ooh, I forgot to check if it's even in. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I guess that simplifies things a little bit. We make sure type is included. Then I realized we weren't checking if path was included for the wave one, so that was a little untested potential for unexpected error. And then we checked the types for the synth as well, separately. So get clip is refactored. Now we can use the same function down here, no problem. Okay, and it fails out if we uh, don't provide all the fields. So I think we're good here. Now what's next? That's the question. Okay, I'm gonna turn instruments, patterns, and samples into dictionaries. We're gonna enforce that. Okay, let's start by trying to enforce the fact that it calls get instrument on whatever dictionary we pass it. We can add an empty method to get the test to paths, and now we have this mock get instrument object being passed in by the decorator, which we can use to make some assertions. Most importantly, we can say that it's called, and it's not, so let's try to fix that. Going with the stupidest possible fix through test-driven development, there we go, we just call it, and it does nothing. So how do we make our tests a little more specific? Well, we can say called with, I think. This gets a little hairy. I have to look up the syntax. Be very careful. This is why we do things one tiny step at a time. I'm asserting that it's called with this instrument dictionary. We don't really care what's inside of each instrument once we get to this level, but we do want it to be called with, well, rather, we want it to be called with this guy and then with this guy separately. So let's actually refine that a little bit. But the point here is... Um, we actually are seeing a pass when we should not. We are seeing green, we want to see red. What happened here? Well, if we look at Stack Overflow here, you can see that there's an assert called with. I bet that since we're just asserting called with, right, I bet if we add the assert underscore, it will make all the difference. 
and we can get rid of this assert. Use the built-in assertion. There we go, we get the failure. That's exactly what we want to see. Now we can say, hmm, now we have to restructure the song class a little bit. So now by default, we just uh, provide the BPM and sample rate and we instantiate all of these dictionaries to just nothing to begin with. Then we set the key for our song.instruments to the getInstrument method called with the value. And we're iterating the items of the instruments key within the config. So let's see if that passes the test. Uh, we still got a failure. So since we're calling it multiple times, we did have to get even a little bit fancier with this, but it's no big deal. Either way, we are testing that we are calling the get instrument method, but thanks to the mocking, we haven't even implemented this yet, but we don't care for the get song method. The get song method's responsibility stops where we call a different method because that other method is tested separately. So we'll write our test for get instrument. It'll have no effect on get song, even though it uses that method. So this is perfect for us right now. Okay, I just went through and did the same thing for patterns. Notice something very important as we start to add more than one patch. It goes in, in this order, right? Instrument pattern as we read downward. Then when we get to the arguments list, it goes backwards because I guess it starts by applying the one that's closest to the method call and works its way up. Either way, whatever the reason is for that, it uh, you just have to do it backwards in the arguments list. So when we add sample down here, get sample, we will add it as the first argument, mock get sample, like that. Um, and let me go do that now. And now that I remembered that we renamed the concept of samples to clips to avoid confusion, we're good to go. It's all passing. And we wrote the highest level method. And I'm glad that we did that. I mean, we started at the bottom where it was probably the hardest implementation. But now that we started at the top, We've really bounded the rest of our work. We just have to implement these three methods using basically the same technique. So let's get down to doing that. I'm going to reorder our, our tests just a little bit. We have some general tests up here and the static method test. I'm going to put in the song test next because it uses, oops, this should say get clip, wouldn't it? Mock get clip. Okay, yeah, so we start out with the top level, the song, and this should say mock get clip. Might have to run that again. Then we do clip. Hmm. I'm going to reorganize everything just a little bit because I want clip to be first alphabetically. Just make it make sense. So hold on one sec. Ooh, okay, we're good. We have the tests are laid out the same way as the, everything else. We get the song. We get the clip. Thankfully, that's already done. And then we just have to implement get pattern and get instrument, and we're good to go. Same thing in the test file. We test some random stuff. We test getting in the song. And we test the clip in a couple different ways. We test, actually, there's a bunch of those. And then we just have to write these two tests. So let's do that. OK, this was a real simple one after the last one. It's very similar to our implementation for song. Basically the same exact thing. Now let's do pattern. OK, similar thing here. I added some uh, type checking as well that I forgot to do for the other one. Now, something important that I forgot. First of all, we uncovered the fact that we also need a get note and a corresponding test, which we can do real quick. But also, I forgot to test the part where we get the instrument from git. So that'll be interesting to figure out how to test. OK, get notes done. And it was so sweet and simple to do because it's just holding three little values. Now, LT Strange did have the comment that these should be relative to the pattern not to the song. I think currently we are calculating this relative to the entire song, and he is totally correct that we should be doing it relative to the pattern rather than the song. So eventually we will fix that. For now, let's trudge forward. We have one method left to write, and then I think we can switch out what we currently have for this resource manager. So unfortunately, this one's going to be kind of complicated, but let's see how bad it's going to be. Just added a quick assertion that it is in place by default and it actually just passed on its own. So that's good. That's a strange error. Anyway, I'm going to have to cut it short here. We did some patching of objects and mocking and we used test driven development to fill out our resource manager quite a bit. So we'll finish up tomorrow. This uh, Git part is going to be very interesting and probably deserves its own video anyway. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you uh, got something out of this video and uh, subscribe, like, whatever, but definitely join the Discord. That's where we can discuss this project, or if you have ideas for other projects, 
everything for the, this channel. You can go talk about it, you know, text chat, voice chat, whatever you want to do. And we'll get you involved writing some code for these projects. Thank you for watching. See you in a couple days when we do this again.